Hello everyone, today we are going to build a least detailed layout using Jetpack Compose. So let's go to build.grader.kts and add this dependency that you will find in the description. And now let's go back to the main activity. Now let's create a class called car and this will have an ID of type integer. And now we will have a companion object of a saver that will be used by the remember savable later to store the car. So let's say vol saver is it, it is a saver of car and int equals saver. Now we will say it dot id. Let's import this. Okay. Or it's okay and uh, the car oops now let's create a variable called selected car and this is equal to remember savable now let's say car dot saver and mutable state of null now to know if the detail screen is displayed near the list screen we need to have a navigator so on navigator equals remember navigator list pane list detail pane scaffold navigator and now let's opt in for this before implementing the list pane uh, scaffold let's build two screens one is a list one is uh, the car detail list so let's say car list and on click pass the car and now let's say lazy column it is made of uh, 10 items text car id it now let's say modifier modifier dot clickable or click and pass the id and also make it make it a car and the second screen car details it gets the car and it says the car id is and pass the car dot id now let's go in the main activity and say this pain this detail pain scaffold pass an empty function here and the scaffold state is navigator dot scaffold state and the list pane should have an animated pane with an empty modifier you can customize it if you want but if you don't pass the animated pane it will not work and the detail pane and also if you want you can have an extra pane so, and if you want to experiment this is your homework and now let's say car list and the on click is selected car dot value is it and navigator dot navigate to list pane scaffold rolled and pass detail and in the detail pane, we will have an, another animated pane with an empty modifier. And it, oops. And now let's uh, pass the car details and let's check if the selected car is not null. Dot value. And pass the car. Let's run the app and see if everything is okay. So let's click on the car ID 6 and it is working as it should. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and see you in the next video.